Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rashmi. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bunny lovey with a hexagon base. For this tutorial, I will be using DK in white and I am using a three millimeter crochet hook. So let's get started. To begin, you're going to make a magic circle. To do this, you're going to take the end of the yarn and wrap it around your two fingers like this, making an X in the process. Turn your fingers over and we're using these two loops here. Using your crochet, go under the first one and pull a loop out from the second one like this. Now we're going to pick this same bit of yarn and make it go through this loop that we had on our crochet. And that makes your magic circle. I'm going to slip my fingers out and tighten this just by pulling on to these ends. Okay. Now from here, we are going to be working this bunny head in single crochets. So we're going to go ahead and start off with six single crochets in the ring. So you're going to stick your crochet inside this ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops in one go. That's your first single crochet. In we go in the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. That's number two, number three, five and six at this point I would suggest you to put a slip mark a stitch marker in your first very first stitch it will really help you to locate this um, the stitches when you make this into a, a nice circle okay so from here I'm going to go ahead and pull on this end and tighten my magic circle like this so when you go ahead this will bring the last and the first loop quite close together this is the reason why slip the stitch marker is quite handy at this point so from here I'm going to locate um, the first stitch I'm going to put my thumb on it and I can take the stitch marker off now there we go now we're going to stick our crochet in the same stitch where we had our thumb so that's your first single crochet pull up a loop and close this off by doing a slip stitch like this now that's your first round complete from here you're going to chain one to start the next round and we're going back into the same stitch here put your crochet inside and pull up a loop yarn over pull through both now that's your first single crochet we're going to need two single crochets in the same stitch so go back into the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through both now at this point again I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in the first stitch because initial initially it's quite easy to locate it but when you have quite a few stitches sometimes it's hard to locate where your stitch is so from here you're going to go ahead and have two single crochets in every one of these stitches so there should be six altogether from your previous round so the stitch count in this round round two is going to be 12 At the end of this round, you're going to take the stitch marker off and place your thumb on it instead. So I know it, this is my first stitch. Now go ahead and do a slip stitch in your first single crochet like this to close this round off. Again, we're going to start off with chain one. We're going in the same stitch again and making first single crochet in there. This one is going to be followed with an increase in the next stitch. So when you say an increase, that means you have two single crochets in the same stitch. So that's two right there, like this. Again, I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker in the first stitch right here. And let's go ahead and work this round. So we're going to do this by doing one single crochet in one stitch and then two in the next. Then one in the next stitch and two after that, okay? Go ahead and finish this round, I'll see you here. At the end of this round, I'm going to take my stitch marker off and let's place my thumb on it instead. So I know this is my stitch I need to go in. So put your crochet in the first single crochet and do a slip stitch like this. Now that completes my round three. Altogether, you should have 18 stitches at this point. You're going to go ahead, chain one, 
single crochet in the same place like this and we're going to have another single crochet in the next stitch that's one more and two in the very next one that's one and two go ahead and place your stitch marker in the right stitch which is the very first one be aware that there is a chain one as well which looks very much like a stitch so obviously we want to avoid that and put our stitch marker in the right place like this so in this whole round we are going to have one single crochet one single crochet followed by two single crochets in the same round complete this and i'll see you at the end here at the end of round four you're going to take the stitch marker off again and do a slip stitch in this very same stitch okay now, all together, you should have 24 stitches in this round. Start off the next one with chain one again and having a single crochet in the very same stitch like this. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and do one single crochet, one single crochet and then two single crochets. So when we're going around this space, you're going to have three single crochets in three stitches. And then the fourth one is going to have two single crochets. So I'm going to do the first one with you that's one more that's three and the next one is going to go in this one which is going to go going to be an increase so two in there so go ahead and put your stitch marker in place in the first single crochet and go ahead and finish this round by having three single crochets in a row and then two single crochets in the stitch after that now at the end of round five i should have 30 stitches all together i'm going to take my stitch marker off place my finger there and now we are going to have a slip stitch in the same stitch as our stitch marker which is your first single crochet from here chain one and start off with a single crochet same in the same stitch like this we are now going to have four single crochets in a row and then an increase so that's my first one second third and fourth in the next one we're going to have an increase now you are able to check your work that if you are doing it correctly or not by locating your previous increases so you may notice that all of these increases that you're doing in each round are going back into the increase from a previous round so there's the increase from this round and my increase from previous round went inside that and this one went inside this one okay so they all should line up from here, carry on and have four single crochets in a row and then followed by an increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch. Don't forget to put your stitch marker in place. At the end of round six, you should have a total of 36 stitches. I'm going to take my stitch marker off and do a single slip stitch in the same place in my first single crochet like this. Start the next round, round seven with chain one going in the same stitch as our chain one and making first single crochet from here you're going to have five single crochets all together and then an increase so that's my first one second third fourth and fifth after my five single crochets we are going to have an increase in the next stitch which is two single crochets in the same stitch Let's go ahead and put our stitch marker in the first single crochet. Really makes life easier because afterwards when we get to the end, we don't have to locate where our first single crochet is because sometimes it could get harder to locate that. So go ahead and finish this round by having five single crochets in a row followed by two single crochets in the next stitch. I'll see you at the end. At the end of round seven, you should have 42 stitches all together. Let's take the stitch marker off, place your finger instead and slip stitch in the first single crochet like this. Start the next round with chain one and a single crochet in the same place again. From here, we're going to have all together six single crochets in a row followed by an increase. So that's one, two, three, four, five and six. And then an increase which means two single crochets in the same place like this go ahead and place your stitch marker in the first single crochet right here go ahead and finish the whole thing and i'll see you at the end 
at the end of this round we are going to have all together 48 stitches let's go ahead and do slip stitch in our first single crochet like this now next four rounds we are going to have one single crochet in every single one of these stitches so the stitch count will still say 48 we are just going to gain some length on this okay so the curve part is going to start appearing from here so each round you're going to start with chain one and a single crochet in the very same stitch then you're going to just carry on and have a single crochet in every single stitch until you come round at the end don't forget to place your stitch marker in the very first single crochet it will really help you if you don't have a stitch marker go ahead and use a bobby pin or even a thread or a little bit of yarn okay so i will see you at the end of row 12 so you're going to go ahead and work four rows of single crochets i'm now at the end of round 12 with a total of 48 stitches so let's take our stitch marker out and do a slip stitch in our first single crochet like this now from here we are going to start closing off this gap and make it into a round ball so for that reason we are going to start doing decreases start off with chain one and a single crochet in the same place as our chain one now from here you're going to have six single crochets in a row and then a decrease okay so let's do the first tie apart together so that's first single crochet second third fourth fifth and my sixth one once you've done your six single crochets in a row you're going to have a decrease to do a decrease you're going to put your crochet in the first next stitch pull up a loop instead of doing anything to this we are going to go straight into the next stitch and pull up a loop now we've got three loops on our crochet we're going to yarn over pull through all three now this just reduces the number of stitches that you have that's the reason why it's called a decrease so from here go ahead and do six single crochets and a decrease all the way around and i'll see you at the end here i'm now at the end of row 13 we're going to take our stitch marker off and let's do a slip stitch in our first single crochet like this okay now from here next round needs to be started with chain one and go back into the same stitch and make one single crochet so we're going to follow this first single crochet with four more to make the count to five so we need five single crochets in a row and then we're going to have a decrease so that's one two three four and five next stitch is going to be a decrease so to do this you're going to stick a crochet in this stitch pull up a loop now stick a crochet in the next stitch and pull up a loop now that you've got three loops on your crochet yarn over go through all three in one go that's your decrease so go ahead and finish this round by having five single crochets in a row and then a decrease and i'll see you at the end here now at the end of round 14 we have total of 36 stitches let's take our stitch marker out and make slip stitch in the first single crochet like this from here chain one and a single crochet in the same space followed by three more single crochets so we are going to have four single crochets one two three four single crochets in a row and then we are going to have a decrease so one single crochet in two stitches like this okay at the end of round 15 i have a total of 30 stitches i'm going to take my stitch marker out and do a slip stitch instead like this in our first single crochet now from here i'm going to take the loop out a little bit longer so i don't lose the stitch and we're going to go ahead and put the safety eyes in and i've got mine here plastic ones with plastic backing so we need to first of all locate exactly where we want the eyes to be so this is obviously the head i'm going to first of all deal with this bit of yarn as well put your crochet in to the center like this yarn over and just pull this through the other side just give it a little pull so it closes the magic circle perfectly and now from here you're going to decide exactly where you want the eyes to be so i'm going to use this side as my front so we're going to put the eyes in the 10th row so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten 
this is my 10th row i'm just going to stick my crochet inside so i know exactly where that is so i'm going to go ahead and put the eyes in place of this here we go once you stick that in before you put the backing in let's go ahead identify exactly where you want the next eye to be as well so once you have them both in place and if it looks perfect then you can go ahead and put the backing on but if you wanted a little bit more space in between then you can at least have this moment to adjust it okay so that looks about right to me and i'm going to just secure those two ends in with my plastic backing that i've got so let's just put that on and push it in place Okay, and do the same to the other side. Okay, now those eyes are not going to go anywhere. And now I'm going to go ahead and fill this head up as well. Let's just put this long bit of yarn from the middle inside and fill the head up with some fiber like this, teddy bear fiber. Okay, now from here, let's locate the loop again, tighten it around our crochet. And let's begin our round 16. So for round 16, you're going to start off with chain one again and a single crochet in the same space as our chain one. After this, you're going to do two more single crochets in the next two stitches. So we are going to have three single crochets in a row and then we are going to have a decrease. So stick your crochet in this stitch, pull up a loop, do the same to the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops in one go, just like this three single crochets followed by a decrease in this whole round. Now at the end of row 16, I have a total of 24 stitches. Let's take the stitch mark around and do a single crochet, uh, slip stitch rather, in the first single crochet here, like this. Now from here, it becomes a little bit difficult to do your work and keep the gaps small. So I'll show you what I usually do. So you're going to start the next round with chain one and a single crochet in the same space like this and i am going to follow this with a another single crochet like this the next two stitches are going to have one single crochet so there's going to be a decrease like this and here we go now each time when you're working your stitches i tend to push the fiber in and hold my work along like this while grabbing onto the head from the with the other hand so let's put the stitch marker in first my first stitch right there and from here you're going to do one single crochet instead of just leaving like that i just give it a little pull like this two and a little pull and we're going to have our decrease that's one each time just finish off by giving your stitch a little pull and that keeps your gap small. So go ahead and finish this round. Now I'm at the end of round 17. With a total of 18 stitches, let's take the stitch marker out and do a slip stitch in our first single crochet like this. From here, we're going to do chain one and a single crochet in the same space. And in this round, you're just going to have one single crochet and a decrease. But before we go ahead and finish this round, let's go ahead and fill the head up a little bit more with some fiber. I think I could do with some more. Spread this evenly all around the head and fill in as much as you like to make the ball or the head as firm as you like okay so here we go okay now from here we're going to start with one chain uh one single crochet as we did okay and we're going to have a decrease in the very next stitch that's one and two stitches and one single crochet on both of those stitches. Next again is your single crochet, followed by a decrease. And 
this is my last stitch of this round here we go that's a decrease and a slip stitch in our first single crochet here like this okay now from here you can go ahead and finish the whole of this gap with just decreases it doesn't matter how many you require i'm just going to keep going until this gap is closed off okay so let's just work on this together so pull up a loop from two stitches and then yarn over pull through all three loops that are on your crochet that's one that's two and give it a little pull right at the end so the gap is not any getting any larger between the stitches and now i'm on my last stitch however i am going to keep going with my decreases until this gap is disappeared fully That's one two One, two, and I think we can fit one more in. One and two, and that's it. Now it's got the tiniest bit of gap. I'm going to put my crochet in from the other side and pull up a loop and make this loop go through the first one to make this a slip stitch. Now let's go ahead and snip this off bit of yarn off i'm going to use a long bit because we are going to be stitching this head onto our lovey or the blanket section okay so give this a pull to secure it in place and plump up the ball out so it's even all around and that completes the head of this bunny we're now going to start our work on making it here i've already made one before and i'm going to make one with you guys so we're going to start off by making another magic circle so take the end of the yarn and wrap the yarn around your two fingers making an x in the process turn your fingers over take your crochet stick it under the first one pull up a loop from the second one picking up the same yarn from here move it through the loop that was on your crochet and now that makes our magic circle i'm just going to untangle that and let's start working in this we're going to start off by doing five single crochets in this so stick your crochet inside the magic circle pull up a loop yarn over pull through both in one go that's one that's two three four and five once you have five single crochets you're going to pull on this end to close this magic circle off like this once you've finished that you're going to locate your first single crochet which is right here put your crochet in pull up a loop and make this loop go through the first one to make a slip knot now at this point i would advise you to use a stitch marker if you wish to uh, but if you don't want to use it that's totally fine as well so chain one to start the next round and in the same stitch i'm going to have two single crochets so stick your crochet inside pull up a loop that's one go back into the same stitch pull up a loop and that's the second single crochet just like this we're going to have a single crochet in every single one of these stitches so a stitch count in the round two is going to be 10 altogether that's my second stitch third one number four and finally number five here let's slip stitch in our first single crochet which is right here again if you have any issues identifying where your single crochet is use a slit stitch marker i'll show you how to use that so next round you're going to start with single crochet oh sorry chain one and then a single crochet in the same stitch like this we're going to follow this on with two single crochets in the next stitch now at this point i would 
go ahead and put this stitch marker in your first single crochet so you know exactly where that is when you come, come around again okay so next one again is one single crochet and in the stitch after that it's two single crochets one and two one and two okay there we go that's my round complete and now i know exactly where my first single crochet is I can undo this and place my thumbnail or um, just uh, grab that in between your fingernails, okay? Now pull a, a loop through that same stitch and pull it through the first single crochet that you had. Okay, so there we go. This completes our three rounds. From here, our next three rounds are going to be all of single crochets. So each round you're going to begin with chain one and go back into this space and make a single crochet. And we're going to follow every single stitch from here with a single crochet. Your stitch count is 15 and that should stay 15 even after the three rows of single crochet. So I'll see you at the end of round seven. At the end of three rounds, you're going to have a total of 15 stitches. Now I'm going to start round eight by chaining one and doing a single crochet in the same stitch as your chain one. Go ahead and do two more single crochets to make the total count to three. After this, we're going to have an increase in the very next stitch, which means we will have two single crochets in the same place like this. So one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, followed by two in the same stitch as one and two. And now final one, two in the same stitch. After this, let's do a slip stitch in our first single crochet, like this. And now we're going to have two rounds of single crochets. Both rounds will be started with chain one, going in the same stitch and first single crochet. Go all the way around and to finish two rounds of single crochets. I'll see you there. We're now at the end of round 10 with a total of 20 stitches. And we are going to move on to round 11 and we're going to have a decrease in this round. So start off with chain one and a single crochet in the same stitch, that's one, and a single crochet in the next stitch as well. After this, we're going to have a decrease. So stick your crochet in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Let's do that again. Stick your crochet in the next stitch here, pull up a loop. When you have three loops on your crochet, yarn over, go through all three in one go. So just like this, we're going to finish this round one single crochet, one single crochet, and a decrease like this. At the end of round 11, we should have a total of 15 stitches. Let's do a slip stitch in our first single crochet. And from here, you're going to have two rounds of single crochets. So chain one, go into the same stitch, and first single crochet, followed by 14 more. So do two more rows of single crochets. At the end of round 13, we should still have 15 single crochets. Let's do a slip stitch in our first single crochet like this. And in this round again, we're going to have some decreases. So chain one, single crochet in the same space as your chain one. And in the next two stitches, you're going to make one single crochet. So it's going to be a decrease like this. Follow on with one single crochet and one decrease all the way around. Now at the end of this, slip stitch in our first single crochet, like this. And from here we're going to have three rows of just single crochets, 
to finish this ear off and right at the end go ahead and pull a long bit of yarn out like this and finish the ear off but before we go ahead do that I would suggest you to stick your crochet inside this ear make it come out from the center like this yarn over and pull this strand in and we're going to give this a pull so that magic circle is completely closed okay now from here go ahead and finish three rounds of single crochets and close your stitch off by pulling this long bit of yarn through the loop at the end of three rounds of single crochets you're going to slip cro uh, slip stitch in our first single crochet like this and pull a long bit of yarn out and snip it from the end pull it right through and pull the stitch down to close this now we have two ears identical ears okay and now we're going to get started on the lovey section we're going to now start working on our comfort blanket to do this you're going to be i'm going to be using a four millimeter crochet hook and let's start with a magic circle Wrap the yarn around your two fingers like this, make an X in the process, turn them over, pull the yarn from under this first one and make the second loop go through this just like this. Let me pull this down so the loop is tightened around my crochet. Here we go. Now from here we will be working in this comfort blanket uh, with double crochets all around. So I start off with chain three which is also considered as a double crochet. Yarn over, go into the center and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops and then yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Now this makes my pair of double crochets. From here, you're going to chain two and yarn over, go back into this center and make two more double crochets. Now, as we're making this lobby in a hexagon shape, we are going to need six sides and six corners. So the double crochets, a pair of double crochet is one side. This is a corner, that's another side. So we're going to need six corners and six sides. So go ahead, finish that, and I'll see you at the end here. Now I have six pairs of double crochets. I'm going to chain two and go ahead and close your magic circle off by pulling on the end of this. Now I'm going to slip stitch on the top of this chain three from the very beginning. So stick your crochet inside the top chain, pull up a loop and make it go through the first loop that you had on your crochet. Now this completes my first round. We're going to start our second round with chain three. This again is a double crochet which is on top of this double crochet from our previous round. Yarn over, locate your very next stitch and Pull up a loop from there, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the next two loops. Now once you've made a double crochet on top of each of your previous stitches, we're going to start working in this corner. And each of these corners are going to be worked with one double crochet, chain two and one double crochet in the same space. Followed on with a double crochet on top of each of these ones from my previous round so yarn over go into that same stitch and work a double crochet yarn over in the next stitch and let's work a double crochet again we are here at our chain two space from our previous round we're going to work this with one double crochet chain two and one double crochet just like this finish this round I'm at the end of this round and we're going to finish this off by doing a slip stitch on our top chain here. Pull up a loop from the chain three and pull it through the first loop that you had on your crochet. Now that completes my round. I'm going to have all together 15 rounds of exactly the same, okay? So each time when you're starting a round, you're going to chain three and work a double crochet on top of every single one of the double crochets from previous round when you come across a corner you're going to work this corner with a double crochet chain two and a double crochet in the same space like this 
This exact same thing is going to be followed all the way around in every single one of these rows, rounds rather. And when you come back here, this time you have one double crochet from this four, set of four from our previous round. So we're going to work a double crochet on top and then connect it with the chain three. So just like this, follow the same method and come back here with 15 rounds altogether. I'm now at the end of my 15 rounds. Let's do the last double crochet and slip stitch in our third chain like this. Now this completes my work here. So all the way from there to there, I've got 15 rows. Now I am planning to change the color as I'm starting to work on the border. So I've snipped my color, this current color and pulled the yarn out of the loop. Just pull the stitch down so it closes perfectly. Now I will be working in a light blue color, but you can obviously choose the color that you wish to do. Anytime you join the color, I do tend to do it a few stitches before this one, wherever we finish the work, because this allows me to work these ends in at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the yarn through any of these double crochets and give this a little knot like this, okay? Now from here, I will be holding these both yarns next to my work like this while I'm working the stitches in. So go straight into that space and work chain three. There you go. And from here, we are going to still work in double crochets. So go into the very next stitch and work a double crochet in that stitch. And next one. And just the way you've been working so far, we are going to work another round just with blue colour this time. And the corners still are going to have one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet. And that's how you're going to complete this round and see me at the end. I'm now at the end of this round of blue colour. Let's slip stitch in our chain three stitch here on the top part of this. And we're going to chain one to close this stitch off as well as I'm done with this colour. So I'm going to pull this out of the loop and pull the stitch down to secure it tight, okay? Now from here, I am going back with white colour and I am going to attach this in any of these double crochets by pulling the yarn through this stitch and just give it a little knot like this. Now I can hold this alongside and this will get weaved in as well. I'm just going to make this a little smaller so it's easier to quickly work this in. From here I'm going to stick my crochet in, pull up a loop, chain one and go back into the same stitch and work a single crochet like this. We are going to have one row of single crochets only. Okay, This is going to be our final row like this and we're going to work single crochets all around until we come back to here again in the corners we are going to be working two single crochets and chain two so everything stays the same but instead of doing double crochets we are just working single crochets so go ahead finish this round and i'll see you at the end here i'm now at the end of this round we have got one double crochet from a previous round i'm going to work a single crochet in there and now go ahead and slip stitch in the first single crochet right here okay i'm going to chain one and pull along uh, first of all cut this and pull it through the loop pull the stitch down to secure it in place okay we're going to take the darning needle and now work this end into the top part of these stitches like this come out from the other side and pull the loop through And go ahead and snip it off. Now we're going to go ahead and stitch these things together. So we've got the ears and the head and we're going to stitch it to the blanket or the lovey part. Okay, so first of all, before we begin, I'm going to pull on this bit of yarn. So the magic circle is nice and tight and secure like this. Okay, and then what I would suggest is when you locate your, when you look at your work, you will see that there is a a line of chain threes running down here. I would use that as the si side or back of your head, okay, of your bunny's head. So I'm going to use that for the back of my bunny's head and I'm going to put the head right here 
is facing I'm going this. to use the needle and go in the center of this okay and pull it through the other side now we will be working at the bottom of this like this okay now before you start you're going to give the magic circle yarn and your uh, yarn from the head a knot like this okay secure it tightly in place let's give it a couple of knots so it literally does not move at all okay from here we are going to smooth this um, blanket part on the head and grab it okay now as you can see there is a hexagon showing the very first round we are going to work the first round into the head okay so let's go ahead stick our needle in and come out from one of the corners first there we go here okay once we've done this we can go ahead and stitch this in into the head so each time you're putting your needle in make sure to go deep enough to actually catch the uh, part of your head as well part of your bunny's head and pull this through go back onto this stitch go into the head and come out like this As you can see, I'm about to run out of this uh, yarn, so I'm just going to give this a knot in place first, okay? So go through and make it go through the same loop. This will knot the end in, okay? Now I can go ahead and still keep carrying on. So that the end disappears. Now from here, we are going to do the same thing with this one as well to make it really nice and secure, okay? Now the head is attached let's work on the ears okay so we're going to take the ears and place it on either side and hold it backwards like this so it's exposing the bottom part of it up so we're going to go in to the head and go through the ear like this once we are through go through the top part as well and now we can hold it up so each time when you're going in go from the bottom and pull it up through the top like this here we go and a final one like this once we've done this we're going to put the push the head uh, the ear up okay and we're going to now go from the front and come out at the back like this pick a bit of the yarn Go into the head like this, through the ear, and come out from the front. Same thing again. Go into the head, through the ear, and come out from the back. Through the head. And through the ear, and come out from the front. We're now going to secure the side. So when we're doing this, we're going to do a few loops here, just in the same place to secure it tightly. Go 
come out the other side and let's do that same thing there as well so it is nice and secure now you can go ahead and stitch the other ear on as well now we're going to work on the nose and the mouth i'm using a pink yarn and a darning needle to do this okay so go ahead and thread your needle and then knot the back of this um, yarn as well okay so here i'm going to make the nose um it's going to be a circular it's almost like an oval shape so you are going to use about three four stitches for the nose okay so i'm going to put my needle through here and come out four stitches down so you can obviously change that if you like to have a smaller one or a bigger one you can adjust that accordingly okay once you put your thread through don't let this disappear we are going to put our needle in the back part of this again so that we don't lose the knot okay so once we've done this we can actually pull this in and go like this so it's actually well hidden Here we go. From here, go ahead and repeat the same process again and uh, about five to 10 times. So we're gonna go back into the same space and just keep weaving, going over it from the same stitches. There we go. And here we go. Once you finish the nose, you're going to stick this in the middle part of this. Okay, so I'm going to go from the side and come out from the bottom of. Here we go. Once you finish the nose, you're going to take the needle, go back into the same stitch on the side, okay, and come out from the center of this nose, which is right around here, like this. And from here, we are going to just have little, one little line to show the mouth, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, put the needle all the way down to the neck and come back out from the top, just like this. Let's do this one more time. Now that completes our mouth. We're going to secure this in place by making a loop like this and going through this loop and just tighten this knot now i'm going to go ahead in the same place come up from the back of the head anywhere really and pull the yarn through once we've done it plump the head up we can go ahead and snip this off and when you do this should disappear if it doesn't just squeeze it and it will disappear here we go now, if you want the ears to be straight, you can certainly leave it like that or you can bend them forward. It's your personal preference and obviously squeeze this part and this will stay like this. Now that completes your lovey. If you enjoyed making this bunny lovey with me, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.